Gamblers, Frankie J here and I'm back with another Chatterbait video. This one is not really a breakdown video, it's more of an information video or an explanation video or you could probably call it a how to. This video is all about the chat settings for you as a forecaster. I had my favourite bit of the video which I will leave a timestamp in the description box if you do want to just fast forward what I'm about to talk about. It's all about how to permanently ban dickhead from your room. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So the way to access your chat settings is if you want to head over to the broadcast yourself tab or whatever you want to call it, obviously it will bring up everything you see on the screen. So if you head to the right where all your chats happens, you will be able to see three tabs that is chat, users and a little cog. In order for you to bring up your settings, you need to click the cog and it should end up like what you see on my screen right now. So this is what your chat section will look like. Obviously mine is completely different to you uh what you've got obviously because mine is mine um your chat color is obviously the color of your font you can use it as you wish whatever color you want um i would recommend you use the same color as your profile or your bio it matches i mean i'm really ocd when it comes to like matchy matchy so yeah mine's purple um my font family is the font that obviously you will use mine is times new room roman mine was comic sans or whatever that you used to use in school but i didn't like it so i changed it font size is obviously font size i wouldn't have it too big otherwise it will be quite obnoxious uh show emoticons yes you do so if anybody does your gifts or glitters or anything like that it will come up emoticon auto complete delay no delay seconds so if somebody literally types in the chat it automatically automatically pops up so that's pretty straightforward i don't really understand why this is in here so it says highest token color i think that's just to let you know the different colors obviously you've got your grays you've got your light blue your dark blue your light purple and your dark purple i don't understand why it's in there but it's in there anyway um sort users there are two options you can either uh, sort them out alphabetically or you can sort them out via how many tokens they've got on their account obviously when it comes to your grays your grays will be down the bottom so you your dark purples and your light purples will theoretically be at the top because obviously they've got more tokens. It's entirely up to you how you want to do this. I personally sort them out by tokens so I, 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 I can see who's got the most tokens and who I need to be nice to <laughs> pretty much. But it's entirely up to you if you want to sort these out by alphabetical order or by tokens. Uh, chat allowed by... This is where you can basically um, silence greys. So greys can come into your room but they can't talk. There are options to chat allowed by people who have tokens, people who have tipped me in general um, throughout your chatterbait journey and people who have tipped me today. That's entirely up to you how you want to um, portray this. Uh, people, uh, users who have tokens are basically all the ones who have tokens and not your greys. That's how I have portrayed this. All users are obviously including your greys. So it's entirely up to you how you want to ban people, how you want to sort this out. Obviously there is the option for all users I've put all users because as I've previously stated in some of my videos, one of my favourite moderators is actually a grey. His name is T and I completely adore him. I've allowed greys, obviously you can ban them if you wish, if they're being an absolute dickhead to you, you can ban them. But not all greys are dickheads, please remember that not all greys are dickheads. So it's entirely up to you how you want to do this. So that's pretty much it for chat allowed by. Now um, this, I have noticed doesn't actually work. It says moderators expire after six months. So six months is the longest period that you can have a moderator for. But for me personally, I've had the same moderators now for over a year and I I haven't had the need to actually reinstate them as moderators so this actually doesn't work these two things are pretty much the same thing so it says notify on entry four and notify on leave four so basically what that means is if i'm moderating for a friend's room it will say moderator frankie jx has entered the room and when i leave it will say moderator frankie jx has left the room so basically that's what it is you can turn this off so it says no users moderators and fans with tokens or all registered users so it's entirely up to you if you want to turn this off or you can leave it on i've left it on because i can't be bothered to turn it off so this one is silence other age verified broadcasters i put no because some of my moderators actually broadcast themselves and when they're online they obviously moderate my room so i said no uh you can silence other broadcasters it's entirely up to you but i personally don't if they come into my room as in a broadcast and say come follow me i'm like uh no you 
are now banned. That's what I personally do anyway. I just ban them. Some of my friends who are also broadcasters, they come into my room and say, hi, it's entirely up to you if you do want to turn this off or not. I personally don't. And if they try to steal my followers, I'll just instantly ban them. There's nothing much you can do really on that one. This cluster of five, I will go through um, obviously individually, but I will start from the bottom and work our way up because the very first one, which is view, edit, ban to silences, is actually my favourite one, not going to lie. So uh, view and edit ignores users. Um, when it comes to your moderators, they have the power to silence. And when it comes to you as a broadcaster, you actually have the power of everything. So you can silence them, you can ignore them, or you can ban them. There is no point of ignoring them. You just literally ban their sorry asses. I don't understand why you can ignore someone there's no point just ban them so you view and edit region and block exemptions say if you are from england like obviously i am as you can probably tell already um if you have blocked scotland wales ireland america whatever you can actually edit where you want to um not show up if that makes any sense not show up on the um broadcasting whatever so if you have banned like america if americans want to type in british you will not show because you have blocked that region there are two ways of editing this you can either edit it via the link here you can edit it in the settings which i personally went through already in a separate video so there are actually two ways of editing or viewing your exemptions so play about with it if you're happy with um blocking certain regions and obviously you do you but i personally haven't because americans like the british accent i don't know why but they do this one is a few fan club members i mean i haven't got any for the moment because obviously i'm not that well known on chatterbait but obviously i will do hopefully fingers crossed later on in my journey but i will be talking about fan club members and different fan clubs in another video so keep an eye out for that one this one is view slash edit moderators i mean i'm not going to show you my list because my list of moderators are obviously mine and they're special to me and i don't want any of you stealing mine sorry but if you have a good enough team behind you you won't need to basically use this you can view them i mean if you know your team very well then obviously you know them and um, whenever they come into your room your their username will be read anyway the way to actually make somebody a moderator is if you go into the actual chat itself and if you highlight their username or right click on it it will bring up a little list and it will say promote to moderator that's how you promote them and if you want to unpromote them you can do it via that way as I've just literally said, or you can do it via the view slash edit moderators. I mean, as I've just said, if you have a, a decent enough team behind you, you won't need to unpromote anyone from moderator to normal. So that's basically that. And last but not least, my favourite one ever, view and edit bans and silences. Now, I will actually click on the link because there are some things I actually do need to show you in this one. So the silenced users are the users that your moderators have silenced. They will only last for six hours by default. You can, as it clearly states here, you can convert a silence to a ban, but only you can do that. So as I've just literally said, your moderators can silence, but you have the power to do everything, including banning. So if there are usernames that are in the silence one and you say hold on a minute i don't like the sound of them they were an absolute dickhead you can convert that silence into a ban but obviously that is entirely up to you so now on to the bad users it says listed are users currently banned from your room bans expire after one month by default you can convert a ban to a permanent ban now one month is normally four weeks on one day i don't understand why one month is like 30 days i i don't know why but um these are all my band users these are all absolute idiot that have come into my room either demanded something or just literally pissed me off so i have personally banned them as i've just previously said i'm the only one who can ban people there's two things uh one of them is actually quite new from chatterbait it was a previous update and it will say we have automatically banned four users possibly linked to a user you have previously banned so if they are stupid enough to use the same email address that they have previously 
used for a username that has been banned from you and everybody else they will link that email address to the username and automatically ban them from your room so that's quite handy and also if it says here add ban you can um, enter the uh, username manually and then ban them so that's also helpful as well so on the left hand side of the screen you've got your username when you ban them how long the ban is expired for and the actions which is literally my favorite thing in the world so the way to make somebody have a permanent ban is pretty simple really so all you have to do is head over to the last column which is actions so if you do want to remove the ban obviously you click remove but obviously there was a reason why they were banned in the first place so don't click remove and then all you have to do for this one is just hit make permanent it will come up with this so he basically came into my room and said you need to follow me and things like that I was at no so expires it will turn into never and then once you've come out of your chat sessions and go back in this user will be right at the bottom because obviously it expires never and then the actions will be from remove to make permanent to just remove so that is basically how you permanently ban users so i will uh draw this video to a close if you've got any suggestions please leave them in the comment section below if not you can tweet me at frankiejuk that is my not safe for work twitter account if you do want to follow me on a safe for work account it's just the frankie j uk with a t-h-e right at the beginning take care guys stay safe thank you very much for the love on my channel and i have now reached 32 subscribers which is absolutely madness as always take care stay safe and have a awesome star wars day may the force be with you always take care guys see you later bye